How you doing, Trench? I'm back. Two thousand and twenty has been truly a disastrous year for the Islamic Ummah, and the Ummah is drowning because of the behavior and actions of their Muslim apologists, who they consider to be their Muslim heroes, like Muhammad Hijab and Yasser Qadi, who set the holes in the standard narrative on the map. What about Ijaz Ahmed, another Muslim apologist who was doxing and threatening Christians during a debate? And now, Menj, i.e. the number one Muslim apologist of all time, who was arrested in Malaysia for possession of child pornography. Truly, truly, 2020, the year 2020 has been a blessing for the Islamic Ummah, i.e. the Islamic nation, because of the actions and behavior of their Muslim heroes. Right Muslims? Hmm. Muslims also for years have told us that there is no compulsion in religion. But finally, useful idiots like Ali Dawa confirm if Muslims leave Islam and become apostates under Sharia law in an Islamic state, those apostates must die. So finally, they are confirming it in 2020. Truly, truly, the year 2020 has been a blessing for the drowning Muslim Ummah. Right, Muslims? Do you remember that famous quote by the Imam from Canada, Bilal Phillips? What did he say again? And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. Right. Now I wonder why that is. Is it maybe because of the behavior of the Muslim apologists that Muslims start to doubt Islam because now they are seeing the true face and colors of this evil cult called Islam and the teaching of the most obvious fake prophet of all time. I understand why many Muslims are doubting Islam and leave their religion, the man-made religion called Islam. I found a video, a debate between a Muslim and a Christian. The Christian, his name is Ask Truth versus a Muslim apologist called Lion Door. Lion Door, the golden lion basically in French. So I think he's a French Muslim. During that debate, this French Muslim said really a damaging thing. And let us watch this video and see how Muslim apologists in 2020 have no shame, no honor, or let alone any dignity to lie deliberately live on air during a debate without any shame because they think that we are not watching and will not spank them when we catch them with lies. Now, let us listen to the debate and see how the Muslim 
will lie without any shame. Watch. Nothing to do with it. And yes, he can give him a title that refers to his persons. Yeah. Uh, have not, no, 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 it's no a problem. false title. Sorry? Even though it's a false title. Uh, uh, what do you mean by false? For well, example, it said God is not a father. It says God is not a father in the Quran. No, he said it's a false he, attribute. No. Um, it is not an attribute. I, I do, do not believe that it is an attribute of being the father. So it's a title. Uh, and is God? You know the and can you call God father? father? Uh, yeah. Why don't you? Uh, I don't do this, but I can do it. No, but I'm not, I'm not going to try to make you do something like you shouldn't do, but I'm just wondering why. I mean, uh, Muhammad never called God Father. Yeah, no problem. No, actually, there's uh, the, uh, how do you say, I think there's a hadith where it says, Abana al fi samawat. Our father, our father that, uh, how do you say, that uh, created the heavens or something like this. But uh, uh, it's it. not a problem. It is not a problem. Like the father call, uh, we call uh, as we calling the father, the uh, Godfather, is absolutely no problem. Now, did you catch what he said? Let us play that most important part again. Is God? You know that you and can you God call Godfather? God father? Uh, yeah. Why don't you? Uh, I don't do this, but I can do it. No, but I'm not, I'm not going to try to make you do something like you shouldn't do, but I'm just wondering why. I mean, uh, Muhammad never called God Father. Yeah, no problem. No, actually, there's uh, the, uh, how do you say, I think there's a hadith where it says, Abana al-ladhi fi samawat. Our father, our father that, uh, how do you say, that uh, created the heavens or something like this. Wait, 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 wait. Did he just quote the Lord's Prayer in Arabic and gave it a false translation? What? <laughs> what a liar! Do you see how Muslims have no shame quoting our Christian Lord's Prayer that Jesus himself, our Lord, the King of Kings, the name above all names, the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us the Lord's Prayer? Did he really just quote the Lord's Prayer in Arabic and gave it a false translation? Wow, what an embarrassment. What an embarrassment for the Muslim Ummah. Now I understand why Muslims are in doubt because of these Muslim apologists. This is why Muslims are leaving Islam. Because of these liars and deceivers. Quoting the Lord's Prayer in Arabic, calling it a hadith from Muhammad. Wow! Let us hear the Lord's Prayer in Arabic and compare to what he said <laughs> and see for yourself how he is using our Lord's Prayer to call it a hadith from Muhammad. Watch. أبان الذي في السماوات ليتقدس اسمك ليأتي ملكوتك لتكن مشيئتك كما في السماوات كذلك على الأرض خبزنا كفافنا أعطنا اليوم واغفر لنا خطايانا كما نغفر لمن يذنب إلينا ولا تدخلنا في تجربة لكن نجنا من الشرير آمين No, actually, there's uh, the, uh, how do you say, I think there's a hadith where it says, Abana al fi samawat. Our father, our father that, uh, how do you say, that uh, created the heavens or something like this. And if we read Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number 109, we can read, narrated Salama, I heard the Prophet saying, whoever intentionally ascribes to me what I have not said, then surely let him occupy his seat in hellfire. So Mr. Lion Door, 
You call yourself the golden lion. I hope you're calling yourself the golden lion of Allah. The best of all deceivers. You are using the same deception, the same maker that Allah used. The best of all deceivers. So what do you expect, beloved audience, from Muslims who are followers of the religion of falsehood, which is Islam? Without any shame, quoting the Lord's Prayer and calling it Hadith from Muhammad. But your Prophet said, whoever intentionally ascribes to me what I have not said, then surely let him occupy his seat in hellfire. So Mr. Lion Door, you're going to stay in hellfire for all eternity according to the words of your Prophet. Shame on you for using deception while thinking that you're going to get away with it. We are here to catch you, spank you and serve you for everybody to see. Guys, thank you for watching. Share this important video all over social media. Let it go viral, people. Thanks for watching and God bless. Deus Vult! Um, I just want to know one thing. Mm. Oh you ready? Why not? Yeah. Why you lying? Why? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Always lying to me. Why? You lying so much. Why? You making it hard for me. Yeah. Every time you tell me something, I figure that you're lying.